Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to Globe or Not, the show where we question the globe and to see if it really stick to reality. Because as you know, we all have been through the education system where of course we live on a ball. But right now, there are so many lies that um, are around us that I say, hey, let's just throw all our assumption out there and just for fun, just for fun, let's see if this one could also be a lie. So um, to really kind of grasp the idea, I went on and went over the internet and looked for a little 3D modeling to do some little tests, right? The little perception test to see um, how this plays out in 3D, um, in 3D environment. So as you can see here, I have a sphere, big ball, which uh, could represent the Earth. And if you really zoom in, and I really tried to make it as big as possible, so it could, um, oh, oh, I'm having a little issue here, but trying to get it as, um, as big as possible on a model and put a little airplane in there because as I mentioned in prior episode, I used to be a flight attendant. And I want to, the first part is I want you to pay attention to one really important fact is right now we have the three axis, as you can see here, we have our uh, X, Y, and Z right there. And at the bottom here on the, on the X here, we have an infinite plane. And as you can see, no matter how high I go, the infinite plane is always, always, always at eye level. It doesn't matter how high you go. And especially with this perspective here, we have infinite, uh, infinite view, right? We, there's no limit on our, uh, on our sight in that 3D modeling. There's no atmosphere. There's none of that stuff. So really, that's how an infinite plane works, is that no matter how high you go, it's always high level. So even if we play here with a little here, so this is going to be the, well, how we play it around it. So, so just for fun, let's go back to our little uh, plane around here. Let's try to find it back because I try to make it as little as possible in relation to the sphere. And of course, it's not to scale, but you know, if some of you are not happy, I'm going to make it twice as big just for fun or 10 times as big. Um, to, to illustrate the point, because it's always the same point. If you're above a sphere, okay, let's try to get as close as possible to that little plane. So if you're above a sphere, and let's say you take off, you're right here, and you take off, and imagine this here is the horizon on the ball Earth. Let's forget about the infinite plane at the back. So you take off, take off, and look at what's happening to the horizon. It's falling. It's always falling. And as you go, all you can see is the, um, at the bottom you would see the, the ball horizon that would drop from your perspective. There would be no way that would be possible. Because as you know, when you go on a plane, and you look out the window, and I know because I was a flight attendant, I did it every week, at least two or three times. I was going Montreal to Cancun, Cancun, Montreal. You take off, you look at the horizon, and it just follows your eye line. It always like this. And I just did um, Vancouver, Montreal, and I just paid really attention, and that was the case. It's always high level. Now, as I was at putting this little airplane here, guess what I did? Um, I went on to flight simulator and I was curious how did they do it? You know, if they, you have to do flight simulator, how did they do it over the ocean? Well, check this out. We're on Microsoft.com and let me read this here. The RQD algorithm as published is really intended for flat earth tearing where the sea level elevation reference is assumed to be an infinite plane since flight simulator model the Earth's curvature, we had to modify the algorithm a bit. The main object is that the unmodified RQT tend to emulate nearly all the mesh 
vertus over large open expanses of ocean, which is interpreted as being completely flat. Now, if you were going to create a model of reality and you're doing around the ball, but it doesn't work over the ocean, you have to make it a plane. So, <laughs> um, I gotta tell you guys, this and, and gals, this doesn't make any sense. This is not a positive proof for the globe. So, uh, as I was going around and looking at my uh, my little tab to see, okay, is that a proof for a globe? Or is it uh, not a proof for or against? Or it's definitely a proof that it's not a ball. I gotta tell you, this doesn't look good. No matter how you go around it, you can't ex explain why when you take off, the ball Earth doesn't go down. And if you're not happy with this example, I'm going to make it 10 times as big. Okay, I'm going to do another one. If there's people in the comment who think that it's just because it's not big enough, I'm going to do it for you. I'll be happy to do it. And it's, I know the hurt is big, but it doesn't change the rules of perspective. So, um, I'm, as you can hear, I'm pretty excited about this. This, this is just... I can't believe I've never seen it before. Okay, so enough for my rant. Let's look at our board and see where that lead up. So let's look at our scorecard once again. Yesterday or the day before, I made a video where it talks about different speed on the plant on the globe Earth, and how I've never felt that there was a change when I was traveling Cancun, Montreal, Montreal, Cancun uh, in the same day many times a week um so you know with the, the 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 explanation of physicists i was like yeah okay this is not a proof nor a disproof which was definitely weird so it, that was not a, a a negative proof for the globe so that's why we have this one here but the one i did today i've put a proof that it's not a globe and i have a hard time believing i'm saying this but um i'm calling out all the debunkers out there um, do you need me to make it a hundred times bigger to compare to the airplane just to make sure just to for for you to be able to really grasp the idea because I'm losing my mind here <laughs> this is not a proof that it's a globe at all it completely disproved the globe I don't know what I'm on right now uh, if that's true but there's a lot more research to do so thank you so much for listening thank you for subscribing to this channel thank you for following this journey and uh, I'll see you soon. Take care.